writing the equation of a parabola from the graph. Now, when you want to write the equation of a parabola or from a given, uh, if some information is given, and from that you want to write the equation, there are two general forms. Uh, I'll write the form. So this is a general form y is equal to k. Uh, k is a uh, constant. k is a real number times x minus a times x minus b. Now this form you can call, you can use this form when your x intercepts are known. I'll come to this, I'll explain what it means. When you, from the graph, if you can see the x intercepts clearly, you can use this equation. k is a number. Okay, and the next form is called the vertex form. So you can see, let's call this x-intercept form. If the x-intercepts are given, you can use this form. But in some cases, you don't, you can't, uh, the x-intercept is not given, the vertex is given. So yeah, uh, okay, so before that, let me write, this means the x-intercept in this case, the x-intercept, uh, x-intercept, uh, would be uh, a comma zero, a comma zero, and b comma zero. I'll explain this later when we do the example. The next form is called the vertex form, which is like this: y is equal to uh, let's write k times x minus uh, a the whole squared uh, plus or minus b plus or minus b. Okay, so here the vertex, that's a bit confusing. Okay, let me write it. The vertex would be a comma, a comma plus or minus b. Okay, so let me start with this. Now, I've taken this from one workbook. Uh, so let me first, let's write what is that you can see, which are the coordinates that you can see. We can say we can see this x, this is an x intercept, this is also an x intercept. So this is clearly what? What is this? This is negative 2 comma 0. If you write the coordinate, it's negative 2 comma 0, and this is 1 comma 0. So writing in this form, so you can compare, in this form you can directly write the equation like this. The equation would be y is equal to k times x uh, minus what is a yeah you have to write the your a this is your a this is your a and this is your b so using the form so it's x minus a where a is your x intercept so here yeah, negative 2 is your x intercept so x take away negative 2 times x take away 1 so simplifying this, y is equal to k times, this is x plus 2 times x minus 1. If you don't want to remember this form, basically this, this is plus 2, which is the opposite of minus 2. And this is minus 1, which is the opposite of negative 1. If you don't want to remember this formula, you can directly write this form, y is equal to k times x plus 2 x minus 1. So basically you just write the opposite of the x-intercept. Now k is by plotting or by substituting one point in the equation. So what is the other point that you can see? Well, I can see this point. What is this point? This point is 0, 3. 0, 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. So let's put that. So I can say 3 is equal to k times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1. You have to be careful when doing these. This is the most crucial step. So 3 is equal to k times 0 plus 2 is 2. And 0 take over 1 is negative 1. So we can say... I'll write it here. So 3 is equal to negative 2k. 
okay and dividing both side by negative 2 if you divide this side by negative 2 you can divide this side also by negative 2 so your k is negative 1.5 your k is negative 1.5 so the equation of this parabola is y is equal to negative means it's upside down parabola it's negative 1.5 times x plus 2 x plus 2 times x minus 1. So let's use the calculator to confirm this answer. Okay, so this is my calculator. So let me slightly scroll this up to this side and let us type in delete yes. Okay, delete f1. Yeah, so negative 1.5 bracket x plus 2 bracket x minus 1 close the bracket and draw the graph so we'll confirm the x intercept so g sol and if you press f1 this is one x intercept negative 2 and if you press replay you'll get 1 0 and you go g sol y intercept which is 0 3 and the vertex seems to be negative 1 comma 4 so you go g sol and maximum it's not exactly 4 uh, negative 0 0.5 yeah this is uh, negative 0 0.5 the graph doesn't look it looks to be negative 1 4 but in fact this we have confirmed the x-intercept and the y-intercept so the equation is right okay so let's move on okay the next graph now here again you can see the x-intercepts so this is 2 so this is 2 and this is 6 so I'm directly writing the equation y is equal to k times you write the opposite of 2 which is x minus 2 and the opposite of 6 is negative 6 so x minus 6 just like that and what is what else can you see find one point this point seems to be this is 0 comma 6 so let's put this in this equation so 6 is equal to k times 0 minus 2 times 0 6 uh, sorry 0 minus this should be 0 0 minus 6 so you can say 6 is equal to k times negative 2 times negative 6. So 6 is equal to 12k. Now dividing both sides by 12. So 12 and 12 gets cancelled. k is 6 over 12. And 6 over 12 is how much? Half. That is 0 0.5. So the equation of this parabola is y is equal to 0 0.5 times x minus 2 times x minus 6. So let's confirm these three points. This seems to be, we'll also try to confirm this. This seems to be 4 comma negative 2. Okay, so let's try. Uh, delete it uh, and type in 0 0.5 bracket x minus 2 bracket x minus 6 close the bracket equal so g sol y intercept which is 0 6 and g sol f1 which is 2 comma 0 and if you plus press this 6 comma 0 and g sol minimum is 4 comma negative 2 so answer is right okay and I would like you to do this yourself. Yeah, the problem is you don't, you can't see the x-intercepts here. Okay, you can see the vertex. You can see only the vertex. The vertex or the turning point is two comma zero, two comma zero, and the y-intercept seems to be what? This is. Uh, 0 comma negative 2 so we can you we need to use the vertex form so y is equal to 
k times x minus 2. We can ap apply the same principle, the x-intercept. You can say this is the x-intercept. So this is x minus 2, the whole squared, plus 0. Plus 0, yeah, because this, this basic parabola hasn't gone up or down. It has flipped uh, the other way around. So k would be negative. So we can say y is equal to k times x minus 2, the whole squared. Now we need to figure out k. Sorry, k for that we are going to put y as negative 2 and x as 0. So we can say negative 2 is equal to k times 0 minus 2, the whole squared. So negative 2 or minus 2 is equal to, this is 4k. Now dividing both sides by 4, you can say k is negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5. So the equation is y is equal to negative 0 0.5 times x minus 2 the whole squared. Just like that. Okay. So yeah, you can also treat this as an x-intercept. Okay. So yeah, there are two x-intercepts. It's uh, they are identical x-intercepts, so that's why it's x minus 2 the whole squared, okay? So let's confirm it. Uh, uh, negative 0 0.5 bracket x minus 2 the whole squared. And here we go. So g solve y-intercept. And this is your minimum, so G solve, sorry, this is your maximum, so type in F2, which is 2 comma 0. Okay, now what will happen? Yeah, yeah, you can see only the vertex. So the vertex is, what's the vertex that you can see? This is negative 3, and this is negative 4. So this is X, sorry, this is X is, the coordinate is negative 3 comma negative 4. So here, you write the equation like this. You start the equation, y is equal to k times. You write the opposite of x, which is negative, uh, opposite of negative 3 is plus 3. So it is x plus 3, the whole squared, minus 4. Because the basic parabola has gone 3 to the left and 4 down. Okay, this plus means the basic parabola has gone 3 to the left, and this means it has gone 4 down. Now we need to figure out k by plugging in one neat value. So what is that you can see? This seems to be 0, 5. So let's put this in this equation. So 5 is equal to k times 0 plus 3 is 3 squared minus 4. So adding 4 to both sides, if you add 4 to this side, you can add 4 to this side. So this becomes 9 is equal to, this cancelled is equal to 9k. Is equal to 9k, so k is equal to 1. So the equation is y is equal to, let me put 1, this is x plus 3, the whole squared, minus 4. So let's confirm this. So delete uh, bracket 1. Oh, sorry. You can start with 1 bracket x plus 3, the whole squared, minus 4. And go g sol minimum, which is 3 comma negative, negative com, 3 comma negative 4. And y intercept. G solve y intercept is 5.